Greetings, everyone. I'm your Gibbs, and we're going to be playing Dark Pictures number two. This is actually the second game in the Dark Pictures anthology, and I'm excited to get back into this. I had an original attempt, and uh, we're back to kind of do it again, because it is what it is. And we're going to go ahead and, I guess, sadly play alone. Wow, that just seems so sad, but... Uh, we are live. We are playing with all of the beautiful people on YouTube and Twitch. And they're going to help me out with some of our decisions that we're going to have to make. Who lives, who dies, who gets rescued. So let's get a cracking. So we are going to go ahead and start from scratch. And uh, let's do a new story. Uh, lethal. <laughs> what the hell does lethal mean? Uh, I mean... Challenging, right? I mean, I guess. I don't know. It's 1 a.m. where you are, Tildy. Well, welcome in on the next day. I guess it's happy Sunday for you, right? Playing with a controller. Yes, we are. A dark, foggy night. Nothing creepy about that. Welcome in, Cat B2. Hello, Jules. Detour. Hmm. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, you're right. We're diverting all traffic through little hope. <laughs> you okay, bud? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Mm-hmm. Little Hope is a village, apparently. He's always confused, is he? The song reminds me... I love the song from the Dark Pictures. Ah. Yeah, I love the style. It makes me think of a TV show or a movie, you know? It's cool. All right, Linda, thank you for dropping in. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Boo! How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. <laughs> it's all okay. I thought we were. Please, John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please? 
Oh damn, there it is! I need... Oh! Damn, I thought this was gonna happen sooner! Oh well. My timing is terrible. Bearing updated. I don't know what that means, but we'll get into it. JJ, welcome in. Hello. There is little hope in a little hope. Uh, wait. Is this little hope? And it's snowing now. Hmm. Okay. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. <laughs> Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Ugh. This is very <laughs> awkward. Not tonight. No way. Oh, the jingle jangle of beer bottles. Definitely having flashback to my childhood. Ay ay ay. Anthony, Clark Family Home, Massachusetts. Tanya's late. She always is these days. All right, we have our first choice here. Let's see, right to choose. Eh, give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Bonnie Quit Tramp. At it, will you? <clears throat> oh, damn. She liked the... Country ass, welcome in. Hello there. Lavender, good to have you. Welcome. Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? I don't know, but she's a young child. You're... Happy functional family. <laughs> Damn ice. Number one, Dad. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. Hey, bro. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. <laughs> They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Um, hmm. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> it's got vinyl, a big box of vinyl records. I think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. It's curled up his ass. Uh, Dennis is just being Dennis, I think. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. <laughs> what is that? I mean, how, many, how much are those records worth? 
He could have some hey, collectibles in there. Hey, Dennis. Hey. Megan now, wants sis, to talk I'm to busy. you. Megan. Oh, that ladder looks unsafe. <gasps> hey, quit acting crazy. Quit acting crazy? That's a little passive aggressive. Oh my god! Oh. Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. What's I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Yeah, I'm Megan. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Me three gan. Mm-hmm. Oh no, there's a creep child in this game. Yep. I mean, she's just misunderstood. Or a sociopath. One of the two, Maybe you know? you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? More passive aggressiveness by older sis. Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. <laughs> Tanya. I'll go find her. I love their names. These names are all great. Megan, Tanya, Dennis. Very American, like very like small town America, you know? Uh, let's see here. Press and hold RT to pick up objects. Sure, I can pick that up. It is a matchbox from what I can tell. Right? Cool looking matchbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peaches. Wow, when I first saw that, she was like tomatoes. Heartbeats. Okay, we got a game here. Being all stealthy. Are we gonna do a little Assassin's Creed on Daddy here? Never too early for peaches. Okay, this game must be taking place in like the 70s or 80s or something, right? <clears throat> You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Meaning? It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. That's a little... I don't know. Much, I think is the word I would use. Now we have control. Move faster. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that that is definitely kind of like a little problematic, I think is the word I would use. <laughs> exactly, Sophie. Yeesh. Megan is just a lovely young child. Dad's a little yucky. I would say ick, you know, like ick oh you know the old gag with the magnets on the fridge that like spell out murder or something you know i wonder if we'll get that we need a little red rum in here megan what is she doing number of days present number of days absent days tardy i mean this seems like an average child's attendance record Right? Like, those are number of days present, like 30. How can there be 30 days of attendance? Like, she's going to school seven days a week or something? What is that? Anyways. Seems average, doesn't it? 
Out of 173 days, you're absent seven? Like, what is that as a percentage? Like, what, 5%? Oh, wow. damn! Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Woohoo! Never mind! Now you know why we got a little bit of a problem on our hands. <sighs> oh, my poor dear. Look at her best grade is arts. Aw. And music a bit, too. Um... These must be... Oh, poor thing. She just needs a hug. Look at those grades. Yikes. Relatable. <laughs> Flunking everything, basically. Yeah. I mean, it happens. It's not, like, unusual, per se. Like, school's just not for everyone. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Yeah, she is basically flunking everything, Sophie. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! Megan! You could be right about my family. Um... Who's she talking to? I think so, too. Oh! Daniel, what's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! What is going on? <laughs> I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. I forgot to check the kettle. Shit! Megan! You in there? Mom's up in the bath. He's totally oblivious to all this. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Damn, it went up like a forest. Megan! Oh my, this fire is spreading wild. Imaginary friend? It's fine. We all have imaginary friends, right? Oh, damn. The girl's just in it. How the hell is she standing in that? Don't 
go back in the house. gonna do oh god 